All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you remember the... Uh, Ivalis. Gentle. Created by, uh, I think, Bill Chappell. The Ivalis. Now, if you can't afford this Ivalis, and you're saving up to get yourself an Ivalis, the Ivalis really does work. I'm not saying it's First. Not, it's not overpriced. It's correctly priced. Or you can't afford the PX. Her normal PX. Or the Ivolus. The, the new one or the original ones. It's a really good device. Created by Bill Chubble. But if you can't afford it right now. And you want to get one for free. Well, what you do is this. Go to a website called Monarchy. www.extremesenses.com. When you're there, they give you free paranormal apps which you might have not have known of before. Ceiling. Now, they're a bit pricey. You can look it up if it's available for your device. But what we want to do is get the free ones. Steven. So, now he said Steven using a ghost app, the uh, V1 ghost voice, spirit voice V1 from the Google store. But on extremesenses.com, they give you free apps. Vote. Every once in a while. Now you can't afford the Ivalis, remember? So what do you do? You come down the list, you're like, 15 bucks, man. Come on. 15 bucks. So, 9 bucks? Oh, I can get Kite. that one. Right? Well, they got free stuff right here. So until you can afford the real Ivalis. At this point, I strongly believed that we were in the presence of a very dangerous entity. Are you evil? Enemy. Enemy? Spirit. This is spirit. Enemy. Spirit. Why are you talking now? Uh, memories. Memories? Uh, memories. Memories of what? I killed my comrade. You say I killed Pearl Bryant? I killed. I killed my comrade. This is easily one of the most impactful statements we have ever documented. Until you're, you're saving up, just do this. Go to free, extremesenses.com. Go to their free spot. And then you see what's free, right? Right now they only have this one free. Paranormal, ex paranormal detector powder. No, no, they got some more. Look at that. Also free. That's interesting. Let's you see ghosts. This is what we want. Oh, it's free. It's called the Afterlight Box. So you you come down here, you hit free, you download it, right? After you download it to your computer, you say yes, yes. Okay, it shows up like a little like so on your computer. You turn it on, there it is. Now you can use it as a ghost box. I'm gonna turn it on. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, might wanna hit the power button. Duh. Now it has voice banks. I'm not into that. I don't trust voice banks. Internet radio, you'll have to use internet. You Alphabet. Tests. Just like the PSP7 spare box, but digitally, which allows 
Trust me, it it's legit. If you use the radio, just like the PSP7, digital PSP7, they have one as well. That's not what we're here for. We're here to get the eye bullets. So it has another function down here. Watch, listen, turn this on. And it sounds just like the eye bullets. Hello, is anyone here? Dresser. Now the same guy that's speaking on my phone, on my Spirit Voice V1 is... There you go. And you can do your paranormal investigations. PM, yep. Now, you would not need it's from extremesenses.com. It's absolutely free. And there you go. Everything. It works exactly like the iVolus or the PX. Paranormal puck. Until you can afford the real things. There you go. Even gives you time and date when it's captured. Speak. And they have a whole bunch of really interesting apps. Digital. Yes, spirits can also speak. <laughs> they know I'm a preacher. Yeah, watch all my videos. A bit preachy. You know what? What's the afterlife about? God. Right? Gods, demons, devils, angels. Come on. What's the paranormal about? Sometime. Yeah. Now, they got a whole bunch of... If you go to extremesenses.com they got a whole bunch of free ones but this works just like the px so the deepest emotional scar that you have your deepest emotional scar they will play on the, that emotion and that night they did that didn't they Aaron? this little huh. on the yeah. afterlife box bishop it's called me a bishop yep and now you can ask your questions like who are you you know, works just like the iVolus. It's a temporary fix until you can afford the real iVolus or the Ring. by Bell Chapel. And I suggest you get the real one. Analog is always better than digital. But digital's faster, works as well. And just like VHS got replaced by the DVD, eventually all analog will go by eye and everything will be digital. Even the paranormal. Real. Which will suck, right? But in a hundred years from now, I doubt there'll be anything that's analog with the paranormal. Anything you carry, paranormal. It'll all be digital. Words through this device by using phonemes, the basis of human speech, and is also programmed with a vocabulary database in which spirits can exert different amounts of energy to communicate with us directly. What's your name? Scott, sit here for a day and do what we do and see if you're a skeptic after that. Anyway, go to that's how you do it. Sentence extreme senses extreme senses dot com. Turn that on. There you go. You got yourself a PX uh, Ivalus little thing there. And uh since we're here. You can ask questions and it'll answer you or this they'll usually this method only gives you like, it'll describe what you're doing. The entities. These are real entities speaking through this. Just like, just like that. Two? Two of them, alright. Format. So let's turn on the PSP seven afterlight box. It's pretty much what it is. They have these guys. ExtremeSenses.com, they actually have a PSP7 spirit box, digital. It's internet uh, scanning. Just like that. But this is the same thing. Cow. Turn on internet radio. Volume. Sweep rate. Just like the PSP7. Man. Can you trust it? I don't know. I don't trust digital too much, but... Look at that. 9900 milliseconds. Sweeping it. Hello, are you a ghost? Sweeping internet radio. You would need internet. Use this, the ghost box on it. Last. But. He is responsible. See that? That sounds like. That sounds like internet radio to me. Is it a ghost? I don't know. That is really questionable. I hate digital. Analog is better. Direct. Exactly. Are you a ghost? Turn that up. 
for 1,000 milliseconds. The PSP7 spirit box cannot go to 1,000. They feed us these. They feed us these what? Can I reverb? All that echo. You saying it's a bean? Add some reverb. Make it sound yes. huffy. Oh my gosh, it's huffy. But, uh, yeah, digital works as well, but it's highly questionable. Let it. This right here, this little option, gives you your free eye volus. And I don't know if you can carry it on your t tablet or phone. You'd have to go to extremesensus.com and see. They have different uh, formats you can download it with. You know, you're going to carry your uh, computer around? I'm not sure. But it's good for an investigation. You do not need internet for this part. But there. For the radio, you do. Anyway, that's the afterlight box. It's free. What? Okay, let's test this out since we got the radio internet scanning. How many fingers am I holding up? He said two earlier, but that's earlier. How many fingers am I holding up? How many fingers am I holding up? You gotta test them out, man. Right? If they can't count the fingers, can ghosts see you? Was that just internet radio? I'm not sure. Can you count how many fingers I'm holding up? Carol. Bambi. How many fingers am I holding up? Cool Illuminati symbol here. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, that's how you get your free eye volus. M. Uh. What? Can you count the fingers I'm holding up? How many fingers? Now, if you touch a loudspeaker to your computer, it'll get quite interesting. How many fingers am I holding up? Count it. Say it. Waste. I don't know. Sounds like internet radio. I don't trust these digital radio things. Let's remove some of the reverb. Hey, how many fingers am I holding? Device. How many fingers am I holding up? Actually, have animals upstairs. Army. How many fingers am I holding up? Can you guys say it here on the radio? Yeah, it sounds like internet radio. How many fingers am I holding up? The Help! PS At least with the PSP7 spirit box, the real analog, they'll count your fingers sometimes. How many fingers am I holding up? How many fingers am I holding up? Become. Can you say? You have to light box. Twist. I don't know. I don't trust this. Uh, Radio thing. Let's try just the banks. I don't like the banks whatsoever. Pond. I mean, spirits, yeah, they can influence it. But seriously, listen to it. <clears throat> Hello? Are you a ghost? Yes, sir. Are you a ghost? Yes or no? Arrest. I don't know. I don't trust the banks. 
I'm not saying ghosts can't speak digital. I'm just saying it's highly questionable. Uh. All right, let's just ask this guy. He says it's common. Hey, can you see here, uh, here, how many fingers I'm holding up? Now, I, I don't know if these spirits can uh, even hear us. Alien. Okay, he's saying it's an alien. So, basically, this spirit looks like what? An alien. That would be your uh, spirits. That's what the Bible says. That's how the Bible describes them anyway. Big eyes, big head. Something looking... looking alien. Something looking like frogs. Your aliens, that's your spirits. They come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Surprised by that? Yep. Yeah, they have ships. Read the Bible. Flying chariots of God. Made for the angels. And, Real. And the angels of hell as well. They have them. Flying wheels. What's that? UFOs. It's a wheel, right? So, flying wheel is a UFO. How are you guys flying tonight, eh? Anyway, I'm not so sure these spirits can hear us. Because the Bible describes some of these spirits as deaf, describes some of these spirits as blind. And Inches. Some, and some of them can see us. So there's all types. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, Five. if you can't afford the Ivolos, this will do. You can keep asking questions, you might get some direct replies, you might not. Until you can get the real Ivolos, try this. From uh, ExtremeSenses.com. Desert. They have some interesting apps you guys might like. Some are free, some are costly. I like the free ones. How about you guys? Ormus. But everything has a price. Even your soul. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <coughs> ExtremeSenses.com. Some really cool apps. You should check them out. And uh, your Ivolus. Can't afford one now. Buy Bell Chapel. Then uh, get the After Light box, which is free, on ExtremeSenses.com. And just turn that on. Express. Yeah, I'm expressing myself. That's right. Very good. For him to be saying that, he can see me. I mean, how difficult is it for an entity to influence the magnetism in the computer? Is it easy for them? Say, how do they do that? Light. Like a laser. Like Morse code. Right? That's why sometimes you hear taps on the wall. Or pops. All these weird noises. Other. Laser, maser. Do you get it? Like your third eye between your forehead. Yeah, your pineal gland. Receives English. Light, receives light. So these entities can... And angels and ghosts. And the bad guys, the demons and the devils and evil spirits. They can send light into your brain. Or, or darkness. You know, completely block you out. They can mind control you, you know, you're going, you're walking straight ahead, and something stops you, makes you go that way. Oh, but I wanted to go, oh. Yep. It's their job. God made all these entities to... Yes. Who do you think, who do you think made evil spirits and demons? Read the Bible. God did. And why the heck would a good God made, make demons? <sighs> well, that's a little secret. That, Bill. I, I know why, but... You're going to have to read the Bible. Why? Makes things a little more interesting. Stir the pot. Shake on it. Second. Stir the pot a bit, you know what I'm saying? Who do you think made Satan? Yeah, God. Sultry. Who do you think made hell? Yes, God. God's not afraid of uh, Satan. Satan's just a dog on a leash. Serve. Exactly. He serves God. 
even in the evil ways. But little do the evil ones know who's really in charge. The Bible says this, God looks at his enemies and laughs. God laughs at you. If you don't believe in God, go read the Bible. It says he laughs. Like out loud, lame-o. He's not afraid of you or anyone else. Wicked. He's not afraid of me. He's not afraid of anyone. Anyway, that's the Ivolus from this really cool website, extremesenses.com. And there you go. Get yourself the light box, after light box, and they got some really cool ghost apps. Now let's see what the ghosts got to say. Digitally, I'm not into digital. Under. Let's try this out since I'm here. Oh. And sometimes it stops working. It is the free edition. It just crashed on my ass. Alright. Anyway, that was the demonstration. That's what it looks like. Let's reboot it. Reboot it. If it crashes, you just reboot it. That's the thing with the free ones. You know, it could only be turned on for so long. It takes a while to boot up. Brought to you by ParanormalBosters.com. Go to ExtremeSenses.com. Inches. Let's go to that website again. Okay. That's... Focus. Focus. Extreme senses.com They got some really system. Yeah, they got some it's a system, yeah. They got some really cool apps. That extreme senses. Damn, focus. Whatever doesn't want to focus. Extreme senses.com. They got some free apps. What kind of apps do these guys have? Tickle. Look at that. You just go to their products. Let's check out their product. This is the homepage product. Streamsenses.com. Disturb. Hello, products. What are they? There we go. They got what? The Phasma box. That's got a whole bunch of uh, Ghost Communicator stuff on it. They got a whole bunch of Supply. stuff. Supply. Yeah, yeah. I guess you gotta go into each one manually. They got all kinds of stuff. And then the free stuff. Which is what we do. What we do. Anyway. Have fun. Try it out. That's uh, ExtremeSenses.com you get yourself a uh, temporary Ivolus. But that, that's what this function is. They call it Sanctus Talk. But basically an Ivolus. Digital. Sugar. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what went up power on? Alright. Oh. Why'd I do that for? Oh, the bank is on. I hate the banks. I don't trust them, dude. <laughs> Banks are pre-recorded. You can put your own music into it. Import music. Reset everything. Internet radio, right? Uh, let's try just the Ivolus PX. Septimaver. PX function. Alright, can you talk in here? Basically, huh. these spirits are talking away, right? Could be an angel, could be ghosts, who knows. They're talking away, and... The computer just picks it up and spits out whichever word they're saying. But it's only, it's limited, just like the real PX, just like the real Ivolus. One word at a time. But you might, I gotten some, Become. you gotta be really patient, like 30 minutes or so. You'll get some really good results. If you're into a free Ivolus or free PX digitally, extremesenses.com. They got some interesting apps you might want to check out. Alright guys. I'm going to let the spirits say one more word. Then. And I'm signing out.
Check out ExtremeSenses.com. They got some free apps. It's quite interesting. Apps that work. When it comes to their voice banks, I'm not sure. Anything with voice banks, I'm not into. Digital. Cat. Yeah, I was talking about lights and stuff. Right. There you go. Cats. There's no cats here. Like what cats? It's about that's a demon that has a slit eye. You look in people's eyes and it looks the rep the reptilian eye that people have. That's the cats they're talking about. Family. Like this. You see that in people's eyes? That means they're possessed. It can only be seen with HDD cameras. Relatively. They're not rep they're not aliens from outer space. They're humans that have demons inside of them. Cats. Get it? Constant. It's a demon. They'll say demon cat. Meaning that. Okay, one more word, then we're signing out, fellas. Thanks for watching. And extremesenses.com. Go check them out. We got some really interesting apps. Ghost, Six. Ghost apps. Got any last words? Uh, can you tell me who you are? Woman. Jesus. Damn. Okay. You're Jesus? Okay, everybody knows that Jesus is not... Uh, Shoot. Jesus is not a ghost. He's alive in heaven. <clears throat> He'll return soon. Now, he's either saying he's Jesus, or... It's possible. And Jesus can, he's light, Horrible. he's light, he can talk. Or, he's pretending to be Jesus. You never know who these entities are. Or they're talking about Jesus, they want to talk about Jesus. Are you saying you're Jesus? Yes or no? It's getting interesting. Ashes. Are you saying you're Jesus? Yes or no? Running. If you're really Jesus, then please heal all the viewers that are watching this video. Heal their mortal bodies right now. As they're watching this video. Prove it to them. Long story short, who is Jesus? Uh, God's voice. Hello, hello, hello. God took his own voice. Provider. There's the alphabet. You know, men... Yeah. I don't know. He, he didn't answer me. Now, God took his own voice. There's the alphabet. A, B, C, D, right? God took one of his letters. Roger. And made it a living creature. That's who Jesus is. The living word of God. There's others. A, B, C, D. That's for another story, though. But just the story of Jesus? Look at the history. There's others for future worlds to come. That's right. The, the universe is filled with life. Ledge. Read the secrets of the Bible. Read the secrets of the Bible. Washington. Okay, what about Washington? I know what they mean by this. I have enough experience. They mean UFOs and stuff. Like Area 51 stuff. Blah, blah, blah. What about Washington? Are you Washington, the ghost? He's not. Friends. I... Yeah, you guys been around. I know who you guys are. Anyway, when you do this long enough, you know who they are. Yeah, I've filmed these guys before. Filmed them, seen them, talked to them. We all have an entity that follow us. Your entire life. The Bible calls them ministering spirits. Prop. They're not necessarily good or evil. They're neutral in the middle. They just serve. They're here to serve you. God assigned them to you, in good or bad. 
They're neutral. Either or. Then strong. And they're strong. Yeah, I know about that part. They can like, I don't know, they can like knock a wall down for you to keep you safe. Coffee. You know, say a building's falling. You know, like, how in the world did that rock land over there when it should have landed on me? Well, these spirits knocked it off its axis. Instead of it landing on your head, it landed on your right or your left. It's done with frequencies and such. Oh, don't doubt it. Anyway. It has come to be known as the Hutchison Effect. The objects you're seeing um, moving there is a form of levitation by uh, translational movement, meaning that the objects become lighter and can float around, the heaviest being the barium cylinder that you see there um, with the two wires coming out of it. it tends to slide around on seven pounds of its own weight. The physics of it is self-resonation of applications of this in advanced applications using free energy or zero point energy to power it would be in uh, not here to give you a whole lesson on uh, the bible says about spirits there's more than d just demons and angels go read the good book spirits of fire such lemon and such ah elementals that's right it's not just devils and demons Not just angels and demons. The abyss. It's in the Bible. The abyss has many creatures. What's the abyss? Truth. <laughs> yep. What's the abyss? Hmm. What science is looking for? Dark universe. Dark. Sacrilege. Dark matter. Sacrilege. They're saying if you commit sacrilege, as I was talking about, you end up in the abyss. Grandmother. So, don't be doing no sacrilege. Guys, get it? You see what I'm saying? These, I think you guys get what he's trying to say, right? Someone's requesting something or warning about something. Look at that. They know. And they get personal. The trick is n to control them. Yeah. Jesus. You hear that? What kind of yanking are you talking about there? Hmm? Getting really personal, huh? I think these are the bad guys. They are requesting something. Hmm? Fingers. Ah, fingers. That's right. Yeah, I put my fingers after, but wasn't I do doing that? What? S T A Y stay stay. You want me to keep this, huh? <coughs> Tell me who you are. <coughs> God. <laughs> Prove it. If you're God, oh yeah. The the Bible does say that. Maybe he's just saying God because I was talking about God. If you're God, prove it. I want you to uh, remove. If you're God, remove all the debts and that the viewers that are watching this video have. Remove all their debts right now. Supernaturally provide for them money. All my viewers that are watching this video right now. If you are God. <clears throat> now, could God speak through a, through a ghost communicator? God can do anything. <clears throat> Memory. Now this guy said God. No, he didn't. This is specifically, you know, just because I'm talking about God, he says God. I did ask, but <clears throat> can't trust these uh, things. They can lie. If you're God, prove it. All my viewers that are watching this video, remove all their debts. Have have money. Just, France. Have just. Um, them some, somehow, let them somehow get tons of money to pay off their debts immediately. If you are God, prove it. Remove all their debts. Give them tons of money. 
over two hundred thousand dollars for the viewers that are watching this Sally. video. If you are God, do that. Prove it. Prove it. All the viewers that are watching this video, anywhere in the world, give them two hundred thousand dollars right now. Each viewer. If you are God. Now let me know in the comments if that actually happened, because this entity just claimed to be God. Now the good book, the Bible, does say that God speaks in a still, small voice. That's uh, electronic, blue. electronic voice phenomenon, EVP. Now he's saying it's blue. See the blue? Blue. One claimed he was Jesus here, and on my ghost app, Spirit Voice V1, on the phone. As I'm recording, claim to be God. I'm trying to. I'm kind of leaning that these guys are. <clears throat> Night. The bad guys. <clears throat> and they might be lying. Pretty used to it. Or it could be God himself. Who knows? These devices are able to catch any voice that comes through. Anyway, people, if you get a miraculous $200,000. Somehow, it was God. Let me know in the comments. Happen. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You said it in the text. There's Spirit Radio X Paranormal Detector. That's from ExtremeSenses.com. All right, guys. Uh, so if you can't afford the Ivalis and you're saving up for Ghost. the Ivalis. Just get the uh, Afterlight box, turn it on, and you got yourself a free PX. Yes, it's a ghost box. Get yourself a free PX or Ivalis. This is this functions just like the PX, as you can see. I have a lot of fun with it. I'm doing real ser serious investigations, and it's on ExtremeSenses.com. They got some interesting apps you guys might like. They're all digital, but they work. Some are free, some are not. That's how you do it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And power off. All right. Goodbye. One more word. You can say one more word to the world. W. What do you want to tell the world? Speak it right here. What do you want the world to know? Thousands of people are going to be watching this sooner or later. What do you want the world Jack. to know? So you can see this happen right in front of your own face. This stuff really happens. help it sounded like my little girl but that wasn't the only familiar voice caught by the hack shack we just got your voice that came through on the radio upstairs it was your voice dude i know your voice and it says guys get me out of here now please are you serious yes. I, we drained down here. I thought something was wrong and we played it back and, and i don't think anybody had any question that was you Is it typical for demonic entities to mimic? I have had, especially in possessions, I've had demonic entity mimic the voice of loved ones, and they will absolutely go at the most emotional core that you can possibly think of. Just because you say, come get me now, they don't work on your time.
they work on theirs. Seeds. Good. I think they're leaning towards the <clears throat> bad stuff again. Well, that's what they want the world to know. Bad, Ready. The the little monkeys. You know, I think these guys are lying. It is spirits, but uh, I don't think it's the good ones. And you're off. Remember, remember what the Bible says. A demon is at your door, yet you can be its master. Meaning, we control them. Remember that. You're the master. Demons are like dogs. You tell them where to go. Thanks. They will obey. Alright. Don't be afraid. Try that. That's a free eyeball I said. ExtremeSenses.com Thanks for watching, guys. Brought to you by Mason.